everybody, this is Praxis, and I think I finally got the pantry area pretty well settled. Uh, what I ended up doing to try to get this place cool, because uh, this place was, you know, getting up into the mid-70s. Uh, the old pantry that I had at the last house, it was bermed in, it didn't have any, like, equipment that was warming it up, and it stayed pretty cold all the time. And this, <laughs> we just turned on, this air conditioner, is what I've used to try to keep this place cool. I don't like using mechanical devices when I can use nature's natural processes to solve a problem, but, you know, I, I, I got a lot of food in here and I need to protect it. And this is kind of my, you know, backstop against having this place warm up. Now, I think in the winter it's going to help, and I built this insulated wall, and it's going to help because all the uh, warm equipment is on the other side of that wall, pretty much. Uh, but this is going to at least guarantee we're going to stay at 62 degrees in here and I think we're going to get even cooler than that because down below uh, the Earth's surface around here about five feet down you stay at like kind of a mid 50s or even cooler kind of temperature. I've got this camera here and I've been using this to kind of, uh, 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 well it's a thermal camera and I, I've been using this to kind of scan uh, you know what we are uh, what we're doing here. Uh, this is uh, just running off of a little iTouch, it's like an iPhone but without the phone. And this is an FLIR, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of their con uh, company, but FLIR, they do like thermal imaging stuff. And you can see here, uh, the blue and purple areas are the cooler areas, uh, like the, the front of the air conditioner obviously is kind of cool. Uh, we've got some heat signatures like up here like that white area, that's still 76 degrees over there. So, uh, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to be adding some insulation on the roof here, just recalibrating there for a second. Uh, but, you know, really, on the other side of that wall, it's probably, well, you see my hand right here. On the other side of that wall, it's, uh, I can check, but I, it's probably like in the mid-80s to almost, it's going to be like 90 degrees or so with the air conditioner dumping the heat in there. And this wall here is only 74 you can see this is an insulated wall. I insulated the wall with two inches of foam. That's 73. This fabric section, it's uh, I think four layers of uh, cloth with a couple shower curtains as an air barrier. That's 74 degrees. Overall it's doing pretty well. I'm going to look down at the floor and that is kind of, that's, a, that's an important area because that's where a lot of the cool is going to be coming from. The floor is now down to about 70 degrees there. And I'm going to come back behind you over here. Look down at the floor over here, and how's the floor doing over here? The floor back here... Well, you know, it's actually warmer than it was yesterday. It was like uh, about 64 yesterday. It's reading 70 degrees at the moment. By the way, these are bags of uh, grain, flour, and oats and things like that. That's temporary, I would not correct. If you have a pantry, don't put bags like that down on the floor. They're going to collect moisture on the bottom. They just came in yesterday, and I've got them there until I can get them into some kind of a more secure uh, situation. Scanning the back wall over there. Yeah, we're still cooling off in here. But this is pretty much what I ended up doing, is I, I built an insulated wall with two inches of foam. I've got a cloth that separates the hot room from the cool room. And now I feel like I have control over this space so that all the investment that I've put into all these foods here, I'm not gonna lose it. You know, a lot of these things, they'd be okay, you know, if it was warm, you know, things like canned foods. They're probably going to last better in a cold environment, but there are other things in here like the flour and the grain and stuff. I'd have real problems with spoilage if I didn't get this area down cool. So that's what I did. Big insulated wall, two inches of foam, drapes in front with a bunch of kind of blanket thermal layers and an air barrier with the shower curtain. And now I finally got control over this space. That's it. Thanks for watching.